Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So, it is Saturday weekend. Worked on amps all this week. I have more amps to work on next week, but I want to get some work done on my own, on my own personal amp. I get this thing done, so then I can work on the Rockwell Collins 1 kilowatt amp. So, I'm in the market to buy more of that stuff, and I'll actually use it. So if anyone has any HF80 stuff they want to sell, feel free to give me a call. So I purchased these used on eBay. It's my own personal amp, so I'll I'll use them used parts. Otherwise, like the six meter amp, I bought brand new ones. Got them for a hundred bucks for all five. So it was a good deal. I'm gonna high pot them. I always high pot parts. I don't play chicken. I'm not gonna take a chance. If one of these was damaged, I wouldn't want to put a short on the plate supply. So, I'll high pot them, then I'm going to take the uh, copper material and uh, mark the holes and punch it and you know, scare them and yada yada yada. So, I'm going to have all five in parallel, so I'll have roughly a thousand picofarads, you know, they're plus or minus 10%. More than enough current handling capability. I'm going to feed one end on the bottom and then the other end the other connection will be on the top so the current distribution will be equal and uh, I'm gonna get to work so once this amp is done then I can work on the Rockwell Collins amp and I'll start using that I have to get a wire or ten up and uh, start talking to people so I will get to work and I'll see you guys soon Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back. I have the plate blocker assembly installed. That's why it pays to have a high pot tester. One of them failed. It's right here. So I had a couple others here. So I had another one that was good, so I used that instead. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So put a strap around the coil and connected the coil to the standoff. This is uh, part of the main coil and also a little bit of this will be the pre-inductor. So I'll go over all that in the next video. But, so I'm going to secure it to the two inch tall, three quarter wide standoff to the floor. So now it's rigid. And I clamped copper strap that's three quarter wide around the end of the coil and soldered it really well, crimped it, soldered it, put a screw through it with a kept nut 632 so that's not going anywhere. So I have five 200 puff plate blockers. I have two two inch standoffs on top of each other so three of those so six in total. So, uh, four inches is way more than I need, but I want to bring the height up. So, you can see everything. So, the way I did that was I cut a stud. So, there's a stud going into this standoff a little bit, the ceramic standoff. And then there's a plastic washer. Then I have a kept nut. The stud goes through the copper strap and into the capacitor. Then I tightened up on the cap nut real tight, so it's nice tight. And then I just have a screw, a large head on it, like a Phillips, like this, with a internal tooth crush washer, securing the ones without the standoff below it. So super tight. Same thing, stood over here, kept not underneath, no plastic washer because I ended up soldering the strap to the strap below, didn't want to melt it, and then I have the strap, it's a little bit wider than half inch, going across all the top ones, same thing, internal tooth, crush washer, lock washer, so, it's fed on this side on the bottom, and then, say it's fed on this side but so to keep the current distribution equal you know it'll come in up here and 
and leave down there. So all, these are all 200 puff, 15 kV. I have more ampacity capability than I need. Um, plenty of clearance on the wall, over an inch. Plenty of clearance. The plate blocker and the C1 tuned vacuum variable capacitor. So that's in. Now we just have to map out the turns ratio per turn, you know, for the turns counters or whatever, you know, and uh, write all that down and the tube in, put the proper resonant load resistor in, back feed it, you know, key the output relays and start tapping the rest of the coil. And then that'll basically be it for the output network. And I'll work on the protection board and just I'll just go on from there. So looks good. This strap will go from here to the side of the tube. So I'll have a strap like on the sixth out on the uh, six meter amplifier. I had a strap with a hose clamp. This will go from here right to here. So nice and short. I don't believe in going to the center because then you add a lot more lead length and that strap gets heated up by the, the exhaust, you know, the hot air coming out of the, you know, the, uh, the radiator coming from the anode. So that's about it. I know I have metal shavings in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so Saturday, I've been working on this for hours. I am all done with what I wanted to get done today. And uh, that's about it. So. Stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate it. If you want to get a notification right away when the video comes up, that's, uh, that's what you want to do. Hit the subscribe. So, again, thanks for watching. And I'm getting there little by little, but the amp work comes first. And like I said, that's what I do day in and day out. And I have to not only find the time, to work on something like this for myself but I have to want to do it you know I have other things I do in life other than radio stuff so getting there so stay tuned when this is done then I'll work on the uh, Rockwell Collins thing and uh, just lots of stuff to do here so again thanks for watching ampreparguy.com 203 892-4119-73.